Hey YouTube, Enigma Siki here. Alright, just wanted to give you an update on my landscape project I've been working on. If you haven't seen my first video, I'll leave a link to that. That explains my inspiration. Of course, it's related to UFOs and, you know, going to Japan, of course, and I'm studying landscape architecture. So these just go down to the steps um, and plant some new uh, ferns here, just kind of experimenting on plants, see how they grow. Not doing so well, it looks like, but we'll see. Maybe next year they'll do better. Um, so yeah, and have some lanterns I can light up at night, and so this is what it looked like in the spring, more late spring. Have some star ferns and a little toad house. Yep, haven't seen anything going there though. <laughs> and so yeah, originally this creek was only about half the width, and that island wasn't there. I built that whole island, put concrete kind of foundation for it. Um, and cemented together and these boards are just there temporary just to get to the island. The boards kind of make a triangle um, with the Buddha in the center so it kind of represents the all-seeing eye of God. Um, Buddha just simply represents a person's enlightenment and kind of looks upwards towards you know these star beings as I call them or UFOs or fairy, fairy orbs whatever. So yeah it's a little symbology in my garden. Uh, I have a little lantern there I can light up and a little Buddha statue you know inspired by Japanese culture. Um, and a little bit Celtic as well. So yeah, it kind of has this reservoir. This is what it used to look like. Um, but then it washed away, so I kind of have to redo it. But this summer, I was able to complete my second garden gate. It's more of a ranch style. I didn't want to make the same type of gate, something a little more interesting. More American. Um, it has some prairie grass around it too, as you can see, a few are starting to flower. And I have to kind of clean it up, but the next thing we're going to build is a bridge. So, probably a Japanese style. Put the foundations in right now, some concrete foundations. Just got that done a couple days ago. Yeah, I haven't got a little damage, so it's because of the last flood we had. It's been raining a lot in Iowa. Uh, so I have this reservoir here. Um, so the water kind of stays trapped there, but once it floods, you know, it will damage it. I have to fix it and replug it. Uh, so yeah, this is kind of what the foundation looks like right now. Just this uh, a mold, you know, to hold the concrete in. And then this is kind of concept right now I'm thinking about, but I might change the design a little bit. This is just on Google SketchUp. This is what the gate looks like at night, lit up. I can't really see much, but a little lantern I got at an antique store. And with that last flood, we got a little friend here, a little walleye, I think. Um, that's what my neighbor thinks. He thinks it's a little walleye. It's, well, actually, it's about like a foot long, so it's pretty large. So it's trapped in this reservoir. I can unplug that actually. Um, that round concrete thing and then the water would drain out but right now it's plugged so I'll keep him in here to see how long he can stay and eventually he'll get to the river probably when the next big flood happens. A little hobbit house I made for some chipmunks and they do go in there once in a while when I put food out and this kind of goes back up to the stone steps to the first gate I made um, and that was a couple years ago. This is more of a Japanese style gate, the other one's more of a ranch style. And yeah, so this is kind of my yard here and where I live. I live in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, well, outside the city. So this is where I saw the UFO, so I call it the Unidentified Fairy Garden. But this year, I'm not sure if I saw something, but I think I did. It was on my porch, and I was signaling for a flashlight, and I got a little flare. I thought it was a satellite when, uh, when I saw it first, but then it flared up. And then I'm like, oh, maybe that's just due to the reflection of the sun and the angle. Um, but then it came back again the different direction and flared up a little bit. It lasted only like, a few seconds. But then a third time it happened. And that's why I go, okay, maybe that is a UFO and it's signaling to me, because I'm signaling for a flashlight. And then I try two nights later and I saw it again right away pretty much. But it only appeared once that time, not three times. And then when I was coming back from my vacation from the um, Shenandoah Mountains where I saw the stone walls, um, I saw when I was driving on the road and going up towards Iowa City, I saw a white orb again. And it kind of flared up a little bit. I'm like, that might be the same thing. So it was unusual because I saw it twice near, actually first north of Mount Pleasant. And then when I got to Iowa City, I saw it again. So I go, oh, that, it's probably welcoming, welcoming home, I guess. I don't know. It was a little strange, but so far I haven't been able to get it on camera, of course. But yeah, so that's kind of why I call this garden the Unidentified Fairy Garden, you know, inspired by UFOs and also, you know, Japanese landscaping. Since I wasn't able to get the UFO on video, here's an example of a video by um, YouTuber Secure Team 10. It pretty much shows the same type of UFO. So I'm sure these UFOs are doing the same thing to other people, not just me. You know, when they signal in the sky with a flashlight, they might respond with a little flare up. Uh, first, they start out looking like a satellite to make you think it's a satellite. So this is pretty much an example of what I saw.